So my family and I just got back from a, a very short beach trip, and we had this opportunity in this, this town, St. Joseph, Michigan. And if you're from that area, big shout out to you. It was an awesome time. It was our first time in that area. And so we kind of did the touristy thing. You know, we went to the beach a few times, hung out there. The water was way too cold, but still went out. It was kind of like a dare. And then right about the time my legs froze up and I felt like I was going to drown, I then ran back in. But <laughs> we went, uh, the last day we were there, we went uh, downtown St. Joseph, Michigan. And we got to just go around to all these really cool shops. And, you know, it's kind of the typical, like, lake town, you know, beach town stuff. There's, like, the surf shops. There's, like, 14 different places to get ice cream or frozen yogurt. And there was this one place called, I think it was called the Chocolate Cafe. And we went in, and let me just point out, by the way, best New York style cheesecake I've ever had in my life. And one of the best cappuccinos I've ever had in my life, ironically. But we went in. And they had these, like, very typical, they had these signs up that said, ask about our franchise opportunities. And because I'm kind of like a, soci a walking sociological experiment, I, of course, say, well, the sign says I'm supposed to ask you about your franchise opportunities. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, the sign says, you know, well, the, the girl just kind of looks at me like deer in the headlights look. And she's like, w well, you can go to our website. I'm like, well, I could have figured that out. You know, I can go to your website, but I'm asking you. I didn't say that, of course. So I said, how many people ask you that question? And there's these signs are all over the place in this store. And she said, it's the first time I've ever been asked. Well, how long have you been working here? And she said, over two years. So think about that. Call it 750 days, 800 days, 1,000 days, whatever it is. And it's the first time anybody ever asked her about franchise, franchising opportunities. And it got me thinking as I was walking out, you know, naturally I'm thinking, okay, like my immediate thought was, how can I apply this to my business? No, my, my immediate thought was, I'm going to eat this cheesecake and then buy $200 worth of stuff that I probably don't need, but reminds me of the fact, like this right here, this is cool. Here's one of the things we bought. Um, I saw this, we were waiting in line uh, for an Italian restaurant and I'm looking through one of the shops and I see this. And immediately my first thought is, I have to have that. So you'll probably uh, see it up behind me in future videos. But you know, the trouble with quotes on the internet is that you never know if they are genuine. I've, I've heard that quote before, but this is just cool. It's a cool thing. So, of course, I had to go and I'm like, I need this. And if, it's a business expense. So if anybody from the IRS is watching, I'm going to put this in the videos behind me. So it's a legitimate business expense. And I, I this is the kind of the, the mode we're in, right? But anyway, I asked this lady, you know, how many people have asked her? And she said, none. And think about that. 800, 900, 1,000 days, however long she's been working there. And nobody's ever asked her. And yet these signs are up all over the place. And this is a typical downtown, small town shop. There's not a lot of wasted space. Except for the locations of these signs. Because if you think about it, she's worked there for that long and nobody's ever asked her. How much of an opportunity is this presenting to the company? Now, it may just be that they require you to put up 10 signs you know, in conspicuous locations. I don't know. But if you think about this, what value are those signs bringing to that location or to the business as a whole? And that got me thinking, well, what about my own business? How much wasted space do I have? How much wasted space do I have on my sidebar? You know, I'm putting up ads that aren't converting. How many automated emails am I sending that aren't converting? What am I doing in my business that's just not converting? So I immediately scribbled down some notes in case you want to read my, my doctor handwriting there, my notes. And, and yes, I do travel with paper like this because again, that's what I do. Right. And yeah, I was just thinking about this, like the importance of auditing your space. You know, if they, if the owner of that place asked his, his employees, how many times have people asked about this? How many of this have they bought? How many of the, you know, they can track the buying, but how many people have asked about this? And the answer is none. We need to remove that and replace it with something that brings in revenue. So my challenge to you, my encouragement to you is to use a tool. You can, you can use link tracker, which you can find on my toolbox page, Matt, uh, Matt forward slash toolbox. Uh, you can use crazy egg for heat maps. You can use uh, Google Analytics and set up, I mean, there's free tools, there's paid tools, you name it, 
Uh, most of them are on my toolbox. If you go there, mattmcwilliams.com forward slash toolbox. And you can check out those tools for basically tracking your links. And what I want you to do, both affiliate banners and affiliate emails and just general emails and general banners and other everything on your site, track what it's doing and get rid of the wasted stuff. So we did this and recently we found that I had a, a banner out on the right side and I, I subjectively just went, you know what? We haven't had an inquiry in, in that for a year, probably a year. I was like, so that, that basically over the past year has brought in exactly zero dollars. And that was just kind of a subjective thought. So we went and studied the analytics and then we put up some, we put up some tracking and over the course of 60 days, it got one hit and produced exactly zero dollars. So I'm like, just yank it. I haven't even replaced it with anything. I just removed it so there's one less thing there competing for space. And, you know, the stuff around it was getting clicks. And since we've removed that, the stuff around it's getting even more clicks. So my encouragement to you is do an audit of everything you possibly can on your website, on all of your marketing, on your social media posts. You know, use a tool that tracks your social media posts. And if you have something that's like auto tweeting every two weeks, but it's never getting engagement, it's never getting favorited, it's never getting retweeted, it's never getting your response, it's never getting a click, remove it. It's just one less thing that's taking up space, making room for something that is more valuable to your business. So do that and let me know how it goes. Like report back to me. I want to hear from you what you audit and what you what changes you make based on that audit. So that's it for this episode. I'll see you in the next one. And if you haven't clicked that subscribe button, uh, I forget where it is in YouTube, but it's somewhere. Go find that subscribe button in YouTube and make sure that you're not missing an episode of the affiliateguy.tv. I'll see you in the next episode.